Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about preventing sharing in Google Drive. And here's the situation. Here's my Google Drive view. I have this folder, and it's already shared with people. You can tell because it has the icon has the uh, little person in the folder. Uh, and by the way, this is the same for Mac or uh, Windows. This, this is the view that you'll see if you're using Google Drive in a browser on either a Mac or a PC. So in any case, I have this shared folder and I want to stop the sharing or restrict it in some other way. And there's a couple options to do this and I'll show you how to do it. So first of all, find the file or the folder you want to rest restrict or stop sharing with, right click on it and you'll get some options. One of them is share. So just click on that. And right now, it shows that it's shared with these two people. Um, and I can change some of the sharing settings. Like right now, they're allowed to edit and organize them. I can change it to view only. But actually, what I want to do is to change some other sharing options or collaboration options. To do that, click Advanced in the lower right corner of that little window. OK, so there's lots of different things here. And I'll try to unpack it as quickly and as concisely as possible. One thing you can do right away, if you want to stop your other collaborators from, from uh, sharing it with other people, just check this box. And then you have to hit Save Changes. So I don't want to do that right now. If I want to remove certain people from being able to share or to, ch to change their how they are able to access the, this particular folder, to remove them, just click the X next to their name. Okay. Again, I'd have to save changes. The other thing I can do is I can use this little pencil icon to change how they can uh, how they can basically access this folder. For instance, right now it's they can organize and edit it. If I wanted to, as I said before, they can I can set it so they can view only. This is really cool. I can set an expiration date, meaning that after a month they'll no longer have access. This is super useful. So, um, let's say that, you know, in 30 days from now, if I want them to stop using this folder, I can do that. Okay, that's a really cool feature. And then the other thing that I can do is I can make them the owner. And this is useful if, let's say that you want to, you know, you want that person to take over managing the folder and its contents, you can do that. Um, one final thing here. Right now it says anyone at i30 Media Corporation can view it. Um, I can edit that as well. It's, for some reason, it's not letting me alter that. But if you see this option here that says change, you can mess around with that or you can change the option. So not just anyone at i30 Media Corporation, but perhaps other people can too. And I'm just realizing now the reason why I can't touch it is because I allowed some people who are not in i30 Media Corporation, including Rick here, to alter it. So it's not. So it doesn't even show that as an option. For more information on how to get the most out of Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.